Ladies and gentlemen, this is the finals. Welcome for the uh, second qualifier of the Paragon's Return League. Saitama in the yellow color are going to be playing the Trolls. And for the first time today, Galactic coming in with the Human Mans. And the Wolf God Commander. That's hot. Looking to switch it up here against the Trolls. The main event of this league is going to feature a prize pool of $500. So that's what these guys are fighting for. They want to get in. Let me in, meme. That one. <laughs> so Scott coming across. I'm not sure Saitama is going to be able to get that kill just yet. Would we'll need kind of two rounds of this. Look at this bad scout tanking Plague Bringer shots. Can't really block the Plague Bringer, it's too big. I mean, good even for a horse. Trying to block a three meter troll. Not the smartest idea, yeah. Nope, the size of a like VW Golf. <laughs> Coming straight at you. But what Galactic arc. can do with the scout is lure away the undead. He's doing a great job of wasting Saitama's time. Look at that, he's going all the way into the corner. Awesome work. Now the scout will pay for it with his life, but it's a it's a good investment. You yeah. wouldn't want to be the scout, but it works out. It's a price Galactic is willing to pay. Donk. I love how the, the, the club is literally the size of the skeleton. Like oh yeah. Bigger. Just got absolutely crushed. Kind of wish you had the thing where you could hit the skeleton with a bigger skeleton. That would be... <laughs> that would, I mean, look, need. At the, look at the Black Mirror stuff. Kind of qualifies. Kind of does. Yeah, in melee in range. Control. Good point. This is my bong stick, and it was your grandmother. <laughs> 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 That's very on brand for the trolls, to be completely honest. I agree. I mean, it literally looks like his grandma. It does. I am. Wait. Are they. Is that like two trolls have Klingon phys Klingon physique? Because that that chest is like fully enveloped to the front. Like that, these boys can't breathe. <laughs> no idea how that works. But anyway, Galactic did a pretty good job securing the flag on the other side. His build order has been completely normal with the stone cutter last, uh, double wood, one hunting cabin. No, he's also fanning off the raiding parties with a big mean with a stick. And he got the upgrade on the other side, so no experience here for Saitama. He's gonna have to teleport down and try to make something happen with it. Does he even have teleport ready? Yes. Ooh, double scout. Ooh, well he can get into the... Forever. He can get into the base with that. The smasher is getting fairly low. Not something that the infantryman alone can fix. Also, scouts do heal of, uh, regardless of friendly territories. But that one didn't heal fast enough. He met the, sh the thick end of the stick. Yeah, that was a lot of suffering sounds. As I just zoomed in there. <laughs> <laughs> too. Meanwhile, the wolf gal, wolf gal is spinning to winning in the southwest. Getting even more territory. Level 4 but yeah, here's already. The clincher. This is actually a big deal. This is gonna be the clincher. Is Saitama gonna get like all the Medusas again? Oh man, or if you can Galactic? lure away the Medusas like two at a time, killing them, it's easy enough for the trolls, uh, considering they're tanky smashers. No. If you uh, get if both, kept that's the, killer. If he would have kept the scouts around to do that, that would have been pretty nuts. But I think Galactic has learned from the winner's final. Make sure to check that out on YouTube, yeah. if you haven't already. But uh, yeah, like now he's taking the sector ASAP. He's barely got any units, but if he can lure away the Medusa to kill them a few at a time like Saitama, at least he can secure the majority of the XP. Or maybe he'll just take it face... face tank it. Yeah. Junction potions. She can do it. Cue the chat music. <laughs> oh, but the scout's life expectancy today not very high. No, getting crushed by a horse like that as well. It's like that leg. His body is broken. Huh. 
Maybe he'll find Eowyn as well. Sigmar blast this ravaged buddy. <laughs> At least he doesn't have to charge a row of only fans. <laughs> Small blessings. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we know Tiara is real. Don't know about Sigmar in this universe. But, yeah, Tiara does weird stuff, like turning your soldiers into a giant paragon. I've always wanted to be a lifeless husk for my goddess. Yeah, you, 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 you wouldn't want to go home after that. <laughs> I think. Imagine a paragon beaming down and then he just recognizes you and it's just Steve from accounting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, you mocked me for the last time. I will murder you. Of course, the smashers have dramatic deaths of their own. Indeed. Always face flopping first. Level 4 versus level 4 is where we're gonna be staying at. Galactic got the much better end of the stick. The pointy end is gonna go to Saitama though. Also, it's interesting that the Smashers seem to have like a big old mane. So I'm assuming that's a sign of youth. Since all the others, I don't think they have any. Yeah, they probably shave it or something. I know yeah, the workers don't have any, so it's very confusing. Yeah, the workers are just small. Like, these are big warriors. They're probably from a different tribe, to be honest. Actually, I, I have to play the campaign. I don't know how that works. If they're like even the same race, like are the workers children? <laughs> Do they turn into smashers? Can they turn into smashers if they? Eat they're like the most variable race of all. It seems. And like the flash eaters are then small boys again? It's confusing. And then they eat a lot, eat too much, and can turn to the other boys. Like but at least has they all the... can agree that Big Stick is good. Yes. It's where all troll co trolls come together. <laughs> well, Galactic's gonna have. Four barracks now, my hat. So, starting to get into that territory where production is solid enough. But with each unit getting picked off by Saitama no. like that, if he can build up his numbers, I'm not really sure what Galactic can do. Like, the tier two is probably not gonna happen very soon from Saitama, but I'd be shocked if he wasn't already scrapping somewhere. Ah, uh, there it is. First scrapper. Saitama's build orders are always so clean. Like it's very easy as troll to get overwhelmed. Yes. If you don't, if if your build order isn't clean, but I mean, Saitama, Saitama just has it nailed down, so he usually doesn't get into that position. Oh, the weakening on the Ooh. Wolfguard commander. It's actually double because of the plague. Yeah, big blob as well. I'm still a big fan of tiring attack on the plague bringer. Yes, Saitama is as well apparently. Now that it has AOE again. Oh, there it is. I didn't notice that you actually picked it. Beautiful. And yeah, then you, you... Like, once she tries to disengage, you can do that little sprint thing that the Smashers can do. It really catches people off guard. Like, for an example now, just sprint and then just bonk her. Yeah, there's not a lot of help for the Wolfguard Commander. There's two more potions, though. And Galactic is making sure to take back the Royal Flag. But the Infantrymen are kind of just running through... Gets another smasher kill, which is great, but at the cost of so many infantrymen, can Galactic really afford this? The Plague Bringer just hits things with Wantum Abandon. He's just kind of left to his own devices. Oh, level 5 is unlocked! Ooh, nice. Wait, okay, he did get most of them, but not the, the low one. Yeah, oh. that's gotta be annoying. That was that such a nice micro by post. Saitama. Comes up. He did lose a couple of boys, but he also made him made Galactic pay for it for every one of those. Yeah, and the Smasher healed a little bit, the one that's low. Uh, so now it's no longer so easy to chase it down. But with the barracks going burr for Galactic, he's able to kind of pump some units out. And now on the other side, also upgrading sectors. He's soon gonna have every sector upgraded. 
And once he does, he can go to you too. Beautiful. You know, actually it's gonna need to happen fairly soon. Uh, there's probably not that much food left. Actually, there's still a fair amount looking around. Yeah, looks decent. Several bases still untouched. We're seeing spin to win level 2 for the Wolfguard Commander, otherwise just all the left side stuff, I would assume. Interesting. Ooh! Oh, okay, it's not level 4 yeah. yet. Uh, level 5, so no Plague Orb. Yeah, Saitama is actually fairly far away from level 5. It's just 4.5 still, despite all those skills, and he's losing Skull Crushers. But he's... They're not going to be all that impressive uh, without their upgrade. Yeah, like Gal Galactic's early game uh, capture route, farming route, really paid off. Got that extra skelly camp. Smashers only give 50 gold, says Galactic, uh, whereas infantrymen give 62.5. What? No. Why? <laughs> Let's, uh, okay, I guess the gold stuff is gonna need a pass on this, uh, balance mod that the guys are currently playing on. We actually haven't talked about that for this match. True, true. But yes, this is a community-made balance mod now. Just doing small changes really, so nothing crazy has changed. No, no units or upgrades or anything like that. Just some different effects, some different numbers here and there. Yep. Biggest notification is that you get like territory bonuses now, depending, some get it in their own, some in, the, in enemy territory, so the trolls get in enemy territory, they inflict a 3 second bleed on hit, that does 3 damage, and humans are 7% faster in their own territory. And otherwise, yeah, it's mostly just shuffling things around, ooh, that scrapper could actually be picked off, that'd be pretty nice. Yeah, it's fairly weak, but I think Galactic is going to prioritize the Eye of the Tribe. That said, he doesn't have that many units left. I think Saitama can kind of take this. Oh my god. Is the Eye of the Tribe even going to go down? Galactic is losing a lot of units. It goes down. Can we see a teleportation out from him? Uh, he, he's, the, it's not ready. The Skull Crushers are still good at bonking. Yeah, those infantrymen mm -hmm. really cannot take this. The hero goes down. Oh. And with that, Galactic is going to tap out, calling GG, uh, despite everything having gone so well other than that. Indeed. That turned around super fast. Yeah, looks like getting Skull Crushes is still a pretty good timing. It's just not as good as before, but it's good enough, it seems, especially in Saitama's hands. Saitama, he's yellow, he's Elves, he won game one. Can he keep this up? And except for winning, the same is true for Gal Galactic on the other side. Slightly different color, but we have got an Elf Arch Druid Mirror. Coming oh, your way on Evergreen Forest. Looks like someone, one of these two got the tree license revoked and the other one is trying to take it away from them. <laughs> well, the Pathfinder making short work off level two. <laughs> <laughs> the Galactic is going to be a bit slow to it, which is super annoying actually when, when you have to pick it up mid creep camp. Yep. And you uh, know what, Saitama nice, going to use this nice chance. Nice pull there by Galactic. So he pulled the Ooh. zombies away. Didn't stick around long enough, but enough to be annoying. That's good because it looks like Saitama was opting to go down, uh, which probably means that he is looking to attack the workers. So it's a good time for Galactic to do the loop around the back and to pick yeah. up the third creep camp has more than enough time to actually do it and be home to defend good stuff good stuff it's elf stuff it's green stuff and one of the most beautiful i thought it's had a soft spot for this map for some reason since i switched to nvidia me too <laughs> um, AMD really hates this map. Like, I don't know. Uh, well, the edges the of the screen wouldn't render and shit. And really? uh, yeah. Like, when you would move around, I mean, they would get all mushy and all yeah. that shit. Uh, yeah. 
I'm very happy I'm done with that. Interesting. Okay, I only... Wait, I'm just trying it out. If I move it very fast with the middle mouse button and jiggle... But I'm not even sure if I'm seeing that right. Anyway! Uh, there's a little bit of that going on for me too, but it's like much better. Yeah. I mean, I I hadn't noticed it if you didn't know told me. And I'm not yeah, even and sure overall if I'm just, it right. I had really low performance here, uh, but, but but like your card is newer than my one was anyway. Yeah. So I assume that's a lot more stable. Ooh! We just saw some Saitama stealing some wood there. Eh? I saw it. Good wood. Hard Very to come nice. By. Ooh, Guardian Pathfinder. Going after another Guardian. It's hard to find the right words to describe this engagement without making it boring. The Guardian goes after the other Guardian while another Guardian watches by. What's more interesting is what Saitama is doing in Galactic's base. He just killed like seven workers. Damn. Sorry, Galactic eight? Galactic is trying to get that banner. Really? Is he not paying attention? Yeah. He, he's oh, not boy. belled. This is already devastating damage um, a la last season pretty much. Or the first qualifier which was on the live game. Uh, not the modded balance. Yeah, One big thing that's really changed uh, is the worker HP. So Galactic already has 350 health on the workers, which means he upgraded them at least once. No. I mean, you don't need fire totems if you are the fire totem. <laughs> uh, he upgraded them twice at least, actually. And yeah, the fire totems are the other nerf item. So you can still buy them from the merchant, but... Uh, they last a lot less time. Yeah, it's a big old nerf. It's like 30 seconds instead of 2 minutes. Yes. Ooh, what's Saitama buying from his enemy's store? Potions? Yeah, potions. Fair in enough. The, in, the, in the full mirror, you can actually steal your opponent's gear. It's kind of nice. Uh, the shops in the middle, they're small shops, right? Like, they don't have the gear. Yeah, no, they don't have gear. So, if you stole the gear... That would be absolutely savage. Like, Galactic would have to steal it from Saitama later. Which is... Exactly. And it's later doable in now. the game, it's not really doable to later. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, they both haven't been creeping, so they don't really have the money for it. No, not at all. Especially the armor. The tier 3 armor is like 5k. Yeah. Okay, so Tom up to 15 pop cap versus Galactic's 8. It's always hard to tell on the screen whose economy is in better shape because we only see the float. Yeah, the income meter doesn't actually work for like Galactic, so yeah. that's it's an unfortunate one. I remember a nice income meter that just showed me that someone's making 900 a minute. <laughs> I think that was slightly exaggerated. Wait. I actually cannot see it for Galactic at all. Yeah. Host only? Uh, I mean, I see some zero per minute, but that's true. I, I see for Galactic, it's 151 wood a minute, apparently. And Saitama only 61. Okay, I can't see any wood income for Galactic on the... And uh, whatever. Galactic has 99 food a minute, whereas Saitama is 59. So I don't think that the discrepancy would be that big. It shows 75 for Saitama for me. It's like, it disagrees with everything. Yeah. Okay. It's a bit weird. We don't ask questions here. Yeah, don't look at those numbers. Uh, look at the float. <laughs> it's definitely a good old statistic. Don't trust it if you didn't forge it yourself. <laughs> it's a forgery. It's a fake. Meanwhile, both of them getting their respective medicine. Oh, but I said Gorgons. Since Medusa was just the head Gorgon. The Mega Gorgon. Galactic already checking for the Golem? Nah, there's, there's no one that's gonna be there at this point. There's no way he takes it on. What the hell? 
You could do it with rot stone, by the way. It's siege damage. It can be targeted on people. Yes. Does he have it? No. I don't think so. He could get it. Oh, wait. He's actually potioning up. Going back in. Oh, no. Oh. Ooh. That is unfortunate. Yeah. Also, that bleed effect just told Saitama that he was trying to get the golem, or at least at yep. the golem. So he's never going to allow that again. He's already up 27 population to 11. So that's a lot of extra guardians that he's got. And guards, they will not. Here to attack. Not indeed. These guys, they get to kill now. Every little bit counts. Little bit, meaning guardian. We've got a lovely little heal here. The numbers of Saitama are just too damn high, dude. No. Might take more than one punch to take Galactic down, but... Still kind of lives up to his name. The man definitely knows how to play a video game. <laughs> God, the Monkey Boy Siege is now worse than Dark Elf Siege. Now the, now the High Elves finally understand what it feels to be a Dark Elf. I can't yep. punch this wall! Why can I not punch this wall? And that's what made Dark Elves angry. And then it tried to punch more walls. And it's a never-ending cycle of hatred. That's how. That's the origin story I have for them. No wonder they're reusing their spiders for... Just a bunch of disgruntled construction workers. <laughs> Only bad news for Saitama is that he's sticking around a really long time in tier 1. He's ready to go tier 2 in terms of stone and what? other resources, but... Oh god. Galactic's hero almost just perished. He has 5 more potions. There's no risk of dying just yet. But there shouldn't be. Saitama at 60 population and finally queuing up that tier 2, which Galactic already has, but... You know, that's enough monkey boys to take on the Shrine of Growth at this point. No. See if we can clear it out. 66 pop cut, damn. Obliterate has been cancelled. And Satama deciding to fight. Better idea than sieging, mm. I guess. Would You're lucky to get a nice obliterate, but. Not enough follow up. Shroud of Growth remains at fairly low health. Galactic now upgrading it should probably repair as well. But doesn't have the, the wood to do everything at once. I mean, the weird situation is also, though, even though they are going tier 2, they both only, or at least Satama only has one iron base. Galactic does have two, but under the rest. It's a brother's war! Saitama oh, about to lose that hero if he can't chug a potion and it's down, but oh, with the man. guardian count being completely out of control, uh, he's actually... Wait, he's allowing that 1 HP guardian to live? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Literally 1 HP. <laughs> Amazing. Still the monkey well, I mean, he, boys. He can't are... just take half of these guardians, put them on bow and then just snipe shit out here. Yeah, I agree. There we go. They can keep this at bay easily enough. Shroud of Growth too. This is going to be difficult to take on now. Well, I mean, he's still riding across the map at the hero's back since it's early game stuff. Yeah, it's going to be a teleport. Makes sense. Maybe hit the main with the Ooh, he's with the guardians. This corner base. Yeah, That's corner. Smart. He's got the smorts. That player definitely has a nut in his case, and he knows how to roll it. He's got that old wrinkly brain. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a brain like a walnut. 
Beautiful. Man, Galactic is in for such a tough ride, this one. Just yeah. so many guardians. <laughs> That's a whole lot of yellow. Looks like the monkey boys are alive and well. If your enemy can't do siege damage, you don't have to worry about it as much. So you both can just wet noodle it out until someone drops. <laughs> More vet noodles are better than fewer vet noodles. It's confirmed. Exactly. Oh, Galactic's like gonna lose a hero. Oh my god, two health. That's it. In this scenario, it's basically like Japanese rolling up in, in China with tanks. They were shit tanks. But if your enemy doesn't have tanks, your tanks are pretty good. That analogy didn't work because they were both the same unit. Yeah. I'll, I'll try better. Next time. We have got a game free out of this. Galactic is gonna be spawning in the bottom corner of Binwall Forest. He is elves. And blue like the sky in the north. Saitama with the wolf gal commander. Siding with the human faction this time. On this beautiful, beautiful autumn colored map. I do love. I really like the color palette. Yeah, it's awesome. The rays of sunshine. And the the the, 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 the cloud shadows on the maps are always really nice as well. Yeah. You know, if I could completely have my way, uh, the things that I miss in Spell Force is uh, snow and uh, something volcanic. It's just well, really high Magogor. fantasy stuff. Hmm? There is. Um, What's it called? The Orc Homeland from a campaign? That's uh, pretty lava. Yeah. Bagragor, yeah. That's pretty lava -ly. Is there lava, lava there? Well, it's rocky, it's craggy, it's a lot of fire. Yeah, it's very mountainy and there's I rem fire. I yeah. think I remember lava. I know they have textures in the editor for it. I, I don't remember seeing it anywhere. <laughs> Giga cringe. What's cringe? I don't know, maybe the ice wyvern. Oh, oh wait, he's they... going there. Is he going to attack it? Oh, yeah. Is he going to get frozen or what? <laughs> I got it. Lol. All Path right. I'll find out prancing away. That's probably what it was about. I, I wasn't looking at that though. Anyways, um, okay, this matchup, cross map. I actually have no idea how that's gonna play out. Like usually True. you don't wanna give the elves too too much time to to build up. Um and as humans you wanna do something with your tier one stuff, as you'll be suffering in tier two, and then you'll have a great time again in tier three. Uh, yeah, I feel like, considering it's cross-map and you have a little bit of time, you probably want to pick up those side sectors so you get your tier 3 resource out of the way, the axis. Yes. Thing because is... Because it's very likely it's going to go for a long one. Your tier 3 has to get good before the Alvin tier 2 uh, yeah. maxes out completely. And that's a tall order. So very frequently we will see humans struggling with the biggest maps in this matchup. But big maps also mean that you can hit multiple places at once and that's where humans really shine. Don't want to take on the Alvin Death Ball. But if you can hit their undefended bases. Yeah, you can't hit the Alvin Death Ball before you have a fully operational battle cruiser. With flag bearers and champions and mentalists and auras. But then, then, you can really murk them up, honestly. The other way to do it is the Royal Mage. He can also True. get things done. Uh, yeah. But that's not something Saitama does. Saitama is more on the aggressive side of things. He wants to finish the game faster. Uh, max out timings I mean, he does like. I do wonder if we're going to see Griffins today. Do they? Wait, they have strike damage nowadays, right? They used to have magic. Uh, I say that they did. Magic. Still magic? Yes. Oh, that's good. So... They could be okay now against protectors. 
But I mean, it's elves, oh, so God. they have a lot of wardens. Galactic's cringing at himself. He lost a Pathfinder to some skellies. Yoink. That's rough. That's rough, buddy. At least his girlfriend didn't turn into a moon. I'm sorry, what's the reference? <laughs> I thought you were referencing Prince Zuko from Airbender. From Avatar. I haven't watched. Because, because uh, he, <laughs> when one of the characters tells him that his girlfriend turns into a moon, the other guy just awkwardly says, Oh, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway. I gotta watch it at some point. Sounds I fun. have way too much pop culture knowledge. Somewhere stored in my brain. Trying to keep up, but you're too <laughs> strong. <laughs> you're too powerful. I'm too powerful. I know everything and nothing. Anyway, uh, I wanted to make a point just now, and now I'm actually getting too tired to do it. Oh, um, no. I wanted to speak about something human. Oh, yeah, medics. I think they did got oh, buffed in vanilla, right? That's right. That's something we haven't actually seen all tournament. Uh, would love yeah. to see it. Because, I mean, they should be pretty decent from vanilla standpoint speaking, and they haven't gotten touched here. But... I'm kind of curious how they perform these days. I think they might have gotten something for the heal. Uh, yeah, I think they got like a similar druid, like they do passive heal now. Or I can't remember properly. Yeah, they already something had about that. the heal got a lot better. I think. Yes, they had that, but it was like not very impressive or whatever. Yeah. Which is why people are really just making attacking units instead. I mean, healing in this game on your basic stuff like what you humans like to make is kind of strange because you just pull the boys back and they heal up anyhow. No. It's not very urgent to heal up your infantrymen. I mean, there's like maybe a scenario where you have like keeper frontline which is beefy so you heal them up. Yes. But uh, against which faction would you do that? That can't nuke them fast enough. And then you like count them damage because te keepers don't do damage. <laughs> not much, no. They, there was a time when they were like really impressive units, and I think they're actually super close to being that again. Yeah. Uh, but definitely, their special stance with the ranged attack is is the weak sauce thing about them. Yeah. I think that could be played into the range is super short. It doesn't do much damage. It does have an enfeeble thing, um, and that's about it. Maybe it would be cool if they could. Give like a like a three second or so cleanse for status effects, like the uh -huh. immunity thing. So every attack they do, they get cleansed as well. Yeah, or like every heal they do, they cleanse as well. Oh, for you like, mean the medics? I don't know, two seconds, yeah. I'm sorry, I thought you were talking about the. Uh, oh no no no. The calf voice. But yeah, key for keepers, what I'd like to see personally is a little bit of range on that range attack mode. Uh, actually, I think they got that in a balance patch. Did they? That's sick. I can't remember the exact values. So I like the cleanse idea, it. though. That's that's actually very suitable fitting. Yeah, that would be kind of interesting. Like, keeping your champions safe from, like, the, the druid, etc. If you invest into some medics. Oh, damn. The medic actually got buffed in a balance patch. So 10 to 15 focus starting. Oh. And Keeper now deals 110 damage instead of 100. Ah, okay. And the second stun's focus strain is from 3 per second to 2 per second. Nice. Wait. That stun strains focus per second, not attack? Uh, no yes. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was on attack. Just like a value for it. Good to know. It would be more logical. But I'm not sure. I mean, the stance is pretty good if you have like three, four of them behind like a champion frontline. Or just to help them out with survivability. I think it's an enfeeble, right? So it's reducing enemy damage. I don't That's think right. It's a, it doesn't reduce resistances. No, just the damage. But if you hit some heavy hitters with that, that's cool. Yeah. Like a big old war troll. Or a hero, or a creep. No. 
All right, Ice Fiber is going to be taken down fairly easily. There's not much to really go against it. Uh, as for Saitama, he's got his tier 3 armor. No. I mean, what's interesting on this map with Crossbones is that these two are very aggressive players, and we haven't seen them do any harassment. Yeah, yeah. So they, they even they have given up on that idea, it seems. So the Crossbone is okay, but uh, I think... They do avoid each other a lot on these cross spawn maps, and yeah. it might be nice to switch it up sometimes, like roll a dice on what the spawn position will be. That could be interesting, yeah. Uh, if they could be randomized, that would be very nice. And then they would have to actually scout out what, what it's gonna be, uh, <laughs> if it's not like auto revealed and whatever. <laughs> yeah. That would be kind of cool. The problem is also like the static positions are not really made equal. Yeah. Usually on these four player maps. Imagine getting spawned, uh, like, vertically, so that you'd be in the bottom and the top, then it's a completely <laughs> different kind of game, uh, even from the left versus right. Yeah. Well, we'll think of something. That is something I'd actually love to see how that plays out. That's... It sounds fun to me. We should give it a whirl. Alright, but Satama's finally moving into his enemy's half here. The stalemate has been broken. The peace have been lifted. The phony war is over. And the druid is still nuts. Huh? But that's a good form. How does he just ignore that? Um. He didn't get slammed down. Satama's gotta be cringing. His power is beyond our understanding. So it is. We this underestimated very his power, but oh my god, okay. Galactic still walks into it. Oh, no. oh, that's unfortunate. Saitama is here to punish, and he's got more than enough Ooh. army to do it with. Oh, it's the tier 2 wardens getting picked up there. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. Galactic trying to get a level 3 Shrine of Growth. So that's going to help a little bit, but the hero is not here, and this is still a level 5 Wolfguard commander, so... Even though Galactic has level 6 and uh, his revitalizing ring and 10,000 uh, gold in the bank. What's he going to do about this? Like, his army has gone. I don't think there's much he can do, honestly. Oh god, three more kills coming through. Four more! The only thing he can hope for is getting his tier 2, like the protector blob online before... All of this gets upgrades, which is highly unlikely. Three iron mines, five iron mines, that's it. Okay, he's getting more groves, that might help. The, the iron has to come in for Galactic, and he has to have several protectors, otherwise, yeah. Saitama's gonna roll over him. He he's does have four skill. iron mines that are up and, up and operational, just waiting for some workers. But here come the human mans. The mm. boys in blue. Galactic trying to line oh. up for the mass teleport. Big growth. Oh, that is not a lot of elves. Wolfgard Commander the doing the spin, doing the win, and slam on the ground everyone's back on their butts. Yeah. Big trouble with Wardens is they do not perform well against Arbalest since they have negative peers. Yes, sir. Very easy to snipe them down, and Galactic's gonna tap out. That's gonna be a 3-0 victory for Saitama. Uh, man, GG. Galactic really tried, but this last game, uh, you could just sense his nerves for sure. Yeah, and it, it, I think all of the players are also getting pretty tired. Mm, it's been 8 hours plus. You really can't blame them, but yeah, good tournament, and congratulations to everybody with the high points taken home, especially Saitama. Well done. GG. We want to thank our MetaPlace website subscribers. Your contribution helps us keep the project sustainable. As we reach higher subscription goals, you are helping us cover more and more behind the scenes costs, such as video editing. Check out our subscription page using the link in the description and remember to collect your perks. We will see you the next time.